Yes. Yes. I'm a hoe. Hello, you gorgeous individuals. It's Cobb here, and today I am here with Adriana from Perpetual Pages and Brody from It to Brody. And we are here at Booknet Fest, as this backdrop points out very emphatically. <laughs> points out to do a NB Tastic collab video. Because we're all envy, that's the joke. I was really struggling to come up with an idea. And then Brody was like, oh, we should do Rip It or Strip It, like Rhiannon just did. I will link their video below because everyone loves Rhiannon. And they're also envy, so they fit the theme of this video. Hey. I was like, what if we did that but made it sapphic? So instead of just Rip It or Strip It, because that's boring, we don't need heterosexuality in here. True, we're true. doing a sapphic Rip It or Strip It. Now, all of these characters are not canonically queer, but they're queer in our hearts. Now, I have 18 names in here, so that gives us about 9 rounds. I know Adriana has read all of the books. I hope so. <laughs> I have read all but one of the books, and Brody has read some of the books. I'm working on it, okay. <laughs> With that, we're gonna start ripping and shipping. Leah from Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, or Leah on Offbeat. And Adam from Simon vs. <laughs> oh Homo Sapiens God. Agenda, or Leah on the Offbeat. I feel like we have to ship it? Yeah, it's yeah. like Becky Albertalli does, so yeah. we should, right? Yeah, they're canonically a thing. They're canonically so. a thing, and if you think that's a spoiler, you suck. Yeah, ship it. <laughs> it's unanimous for shipping yeah. it. Estrella from Wild Beauty and Alice from Let's Talk About Love. Ooh, I don't hate that. I don't hate, I that. Don't hate that. I like the idea of an interracial relationship I between do. two people who are not white. Mm -hmm. Same. And who are not allonormative. Mm -hmm. So that's true. I like that. Yeah. I like it. I, yeah, I like it. I have to have like similar personalities too. Yeah. But they're both kind of like quiet, more introverted, so I feel like they could get along. I like this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like getting inspired. Where's the fan fiction? Yeah. <laughs> we'll call it Wild Love. Yes, there we go. I love there it. Yes, okay. I like this one a lot. I yeah. do. We're I gonna have... very happily ship, ship it. So we have Blanca from Black and Roja. I have Roja from Black <laughs> This is a big old no. We're gonna, we're gonna rip it. Star from The Hate You Give. And Sana from Tell Me How You Really Feel. You haven't read this one. I haven't. Mm -hmm. It's but on my radar though. I can't see Star being with a cheerleader though. I can't remember if her boyfriend was like a jock or not. He kind of was. He wasn't kind he? of was. Yeah. KJ Appa played him. He has to be a yeah. jock. Yeah. Yeah. Star is also not like a typical cheerleader. Again, like I like the idea of two women of color. Yes. And I feel like there are similarities in their upbringing. There are. You know, especially with Sana also being Muslim. I'm, I'm not against it. I'm leaning <laughs> towards stripper. I don't hate it. Okay. Yeah. We don't hate it. We don't hate it. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> Hannah from I Wish You All the Best. And I have Leigh from, from Girls, Girls of Paper and Fire. I thought. Hannah had a really cute relationship with her <laughs> husband, yeah. and I don't want to break that up. Had you pulled Ren, I might have shipped it, but I think Leigh and Hannah might be too similar in personality. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Where there needs to be like some kind of dynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They both seem like girls who could take down the Empire, so. Maybe friends. they could be best friends. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. friendship it. No, right. please, I'm please. Zoom in on Brody's face right <laughs> Everyone now. Everyone talks about how they want sapphic, like, FF rom-com book. Why can't we get, like, a lesbian version of Love, Simon? Yes. Read Nina LaCour. Yes. Read Nina LaCour. Nina LaCour. She did it. Emmy from Everything Leads to You. And Rachel from Tell Me How You Really Feel. Oh, oh. interesting. <laughs> Thinking of them together doesn't generate any, like, yeah, excitement. Yeah. I feel like if they did get together, they would be, like, I say rip it. I think it. we're gonna rip it. Ren from Girls of okay, Paper and Fire. Cersei from Cersei. I haven't read Cersei. Tell me about Cersei. Cersei is like the world's first like magic user, sorceress. Yeah. She kind of gets like isolated to this island and whenever travelers are lost they like come to her island mm -hmm. and she turns them 
into like, whatever she feels reflects. It's <laughs> usually people are like trying to take advantage of her because they're like, here's this woman alone. But she is like, actually has all the defenses in the world. But she's like, so that. similar to Ren too. So I feel like the same way Leia and Hannah could take over the world, I feel like Red and Cersei could, and I feel like I'd let that. That is true. Madeline Miller Cersei is like one of the most feminist depictions of anything in Greek mythology. Yeah. Based on that description, I'm gonna have to say Yeah, shipping. I've been swayed. Ship it. Badass for sure. women. <laughs> Taking over the, the world. world. That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> Here we have Evelyn from the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Okay, okay. And Xiomara from the Poet X. This is another relationship where I feel like they might be a little too similar. And that would be like if Evelyn yeah, and them were the same age. Yeah. Evelyn, like at the start of the book when she was okay. 15. Okay, they're both so headstrong that I don't think it would be a good yeah. relationship. And we're gonna have to rip yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Here we go. Ava from Everything Leads okay. to You. And Celia from The Seven Husbands of Ava and Hugo. Again, Once again it's challenging Celia. right now. Celia, what <laughs> age appropriate? Okay. I see so many similarities between them again. They're That's both true. super headstrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're both very like, I'm gonna get what I want. Yeah. You know I mean? But like, I love them both so much as love interests that like, mm -hmm. I want to ship it. What are Celia's like top traits? Yeah. I think she's very vocal about her needs. Like, she yes. needs to be loved, she needs mm -hmm. attention, which is fine. She's good. a water sign. Ava <laughs> is a fire. Yeah, she's a Sag. Okay. 100%. <laughs> so maybe they would have enough of a parallel to work. I don't think it would be bad. No, I don't think it would be bad. They might crash and burn, but they'd both get fame out of it. Fake dating. Yeah. Fake dating. Fake dating. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so ship yeah. it, I guess. We're gonna ship it. Ship it. Ship it. Celia was ship it. Yeah. And no. living in this day and age. Yes. Thank you. So, fake ship. We fake ship it. <laughs> well, that's that. Now we have a stack of paper on the ground. <laughs> this was fun. I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. Yeah. yeah, thank you guys for being on my channel. You can find Adriana everywhere at Perpetual Pages. And Brody everywhere at at 2 Brody. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please give it a like and subscribe if you did. And go follow these lovely people's channels and Twitters and Instagrams. And follow my Twitter and Instagram and Goodreads as yes. well. Comment down below. Tell us which ships you agree with. Which ones you disagree with but not Blanca and Roja. Yeah, no. that's not on the table. It's not on the table. <laughs> and with that, that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day now wherever you are. Please remember that you are beautiful news of the world and I will see you soon for a brand new video. Goodbye! Bye. Bye.